Is that a scuff or glue? I think it's glue. So these are the Nike Matchamize D or two. Had these for about a year now. I think Nike did a great job updating these bad boys. Let's talk about it. What's happening guys, Coach Bernard here. Um, if you're new to the channel, I do boxing year reviews. Sometimes I give boxing tips if I feel like it. But anyways, I'm here with the Nike Matchamize 2, second edition, Mark II, whatever you want to call it. I had the original ones. I've owned them 10 years ago. They didn't last me very long. We'll talk about that later. But so far, everything that I hated about the old ones have been updated and improved in the brand new ones. So these actually are a really good update compared to the original. If you have wide feet, these are actually great for wide feet. Now these are pretty much the same design as the original, uh, just have updated details. Now this is like a leather, I don't know if it's real leather. Let's check on the websites here. Specification. Okay, that's not really helpful. Is there a tag in here that I can just read off of? No? Okay. It doesn't look real, but if anyone in the comments know if it's real leather or not, educate us please. Whether or not this is leather, it is a very really tough and strong material. It seems really durable too. It does crease when you use it a lot. There are some creases around the shoe, but that's kind of expected with like leather type materials. The mesh here, Compared to the original ones, this one seems like a stronger mesh. A lot more tougher compared to the original ones. The other ones were more soft. But what I really like about the updated version is that instead of having that quick tie thing that they had in the original ones, which at first were great, but then the loops that were holding the laces pretty much frayed and ripped, so couldn't really use them properly. I even thought about just like popping holes in them and using real laces that way. Nike seems to have got rid of the old quick tie system, which was complete garbage. It was good at first. Like when you have your shoes new, you just pull it, everything tightens, it was great, but durability wise, awful. But now they actually have eyelets, so eyelets are holes. And if you know me, I think holes are great. But despite not having a quick tie system, these actually tie pretty easily. I don't know if it's the laces themselves or these little things that hold the laces in the middle on, this, on the tongue. Yeah, they actually tie pretty easily. But the sole actually ended up um, ripping it off of me. I'm not too sure if it's a common thing for the original Matchamize, but I know what happened to me was I was at a gym and, and um, the double end bag had a screw in the floor and I stepped on that with my Matchamize and then the tip here it just kind of chipped a little bit. It was a small chip the size of like half a dime. But the more I used the shoes, the more it just ripped away, ripped away. To the point pretty much I had like nothing above that line there. I tried mending them with duct tape or electric, black electrical tape. But it just looked pretty silly. Pretty embarrassing when you go visit other clubs and you have the ghetto shoes on. So those were tossed out. But so far I'm really liking these Nike Matchamize too. I, um, I've been using them a lot. They're really light. They have a really good fit. Like inside here, there's like a bit of a raised bridge of your foot. So it's pretty comfortable. Not the most comfortable shoes I've had, but they're up there. It just has a really nice fit on your foot. If you had the original Matchamize, a lot of it is still the same. Like the sole here looks the same. Uh, same design. I'm hoping it's stronger compared to the first ones. Yeah, I've always liked the Nike sole. I, I like how the raised um, edges on the ends here and on the sides and on the heel. And these retail for about like $100 US. That's a pretty good price for boxing shoes, especially Nike boxing shoes. I think my original Matchamize, I don't even know how much I paid for those actually. It's been so long ago. Funny thing is when I had the original Matchamize, I had the red ones. And when I first got them, I was living in Korea and I had my brother ship it over to me. But when I went to the gym with those shoes on, let me tell you, I was the baddest man in the room. Until a guy from my gym 
his brother got the same pair because he was at the U.S. and got the exact same shoes that I had. So I wasn't so special anymore. So that kind of hurt. But overall, these are a great shoe if you're looking to get actual boxing shoes. I know when I first started boxing, all I wore was wrestling shoes. Pretty good price, and you do get a pretty damn good shoe. That's pretty much all I have to say. If you have any questions about these, comment below. Um, if you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time.